Look, I know the other railway needs their supplies too, but I'm not gonna lie, this is a little ridiculous. Like, what, what am I supposed to do here? I don't even think I have an engine that can pull all this. What? What? What is going on? Jesus Christ, what am I supposed to do about all this? What are you doing back there, bro? Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a review I genuinely did not think was gonna happen. Like, it, it, hold on, let me let me explain. You ever bought something that ends up being completely cursed? Not even the item you're trying to buy, just the process of trying to get it. Like a month ago, I tried to buy this thing on eBay and it never came. It took like three weeks to get a refund. I end up buying it on Amazon and Amazon's like, not goofy, you thought, and ends up losing it four states away randomly in the post. But fret not, ladies and gentlemen, it did eventually come to us. We have some new PlayRail stuff to talk about today. All right, so you can probably recognize this Henry right off the bat. This is PlayRail's most recent design, I guess, or the redesigned version of PlayRail Henry. And I'm not gonna lie, I've seen this thing take lots and lots of flack online, just like the other PlayRail redesigns, but this thing, it, just from the looks of it, like this picture here, there's no way this is as bad as Edward. Like, if I'm being completely and totally honest, this thing does look kind of cute, but I haven't even opened it yet, so let's save all reservations for that. What I'm trying to say is he's a bit controversial, but I, I don't really get why. Well, I can... Well, actually, I can kind of see why, but never mind. We'll get to that when we open it. That's that's for later. All right, so first things first, let's run through this box real quick. It's pretty standard for a uh, PlayRail one. If you've seen one, you've basically seen them all. Here on the right, we have a picture of Thomas, the Thomas and Friends logo, and of course, the large CGI render of Henry. The bottom here lets you know that Henry is TS-03, and I'm not gonna lie. My favorite bit, of course, is the back, since it has all these really cool diagrams that show you how to put a battery in him which you probably don't need a diagram for, but you know what? It's cool they did it. Now, this one's a bit more difficult to get on camera, but as you can see here, we have the uh, side picture of Henry. In this one, he doesn't have the flying kipper truck. That's just the locomotive. And I guess I'll show that one off again. There's that one on the bottom. And next to that is a front-facing CGI render. You know, I don't actually know if I've mentioned this feature yet, but this is like the coolest thing on all PlayRail boxes. Look at that. You can just pull that bit out and hang it on a wall. Now, I don't know if Henry will stay in box. He'll probably go with the uh, other dudes on display, but who knows? We'll see. Either way, don't know if I've mentioned that before, and that is like the coolest feature ever. All right, you know what? Let's not spend too long talking about the box. What you guys are here for is the engine, and not gonna lie, that's what I signed up for too, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. There we go, and go ahead and see. Is that enough? There we go. We got it. Let's go ahead and pop this little styrofoam end on out of there and all righty okay ladies and gentlemen oh there we go we've got the flying kipper truck we've got a tender and we've got henry is there anything else in here well there is an instruction booklet that's not wanting to slip out but you know i don't think anybody cares to see that i think we're here for the engine again i'm not gonna lie this is already looking kind of crazy oh goodness christ all right ladies and gentlemen and with that we have the full Henry pack. What do we start with? I think let's go with the engine. You know what? Let's just jump straight into it and talk about Henry himself. Okay, this is the first time I've ever held one of these things in my hands and seen it in person. So what What do I think of it? I think I judged it a little too harshly at first. Now, of course, there are some things I immediately notice, like these pistons here. That does kind of annoy me. They're missing quite a bit of paint like there should be some stripes there or maybe even just a little bit of black paint to hide that little you know the little green mold area behind the wheels just to make it look a little more convincing but eh, maybe that's a customization for me later i mean he does feel a bit squished and it is interesting he doesn't have the uh, updated side rods like gordon does but uh, i still love him i don't know what it is maybe it's the face i mean look at that that's that's pretty spot on accurate he still keeps the two lamps from his previous model it just looks nice i can't lie i i quite enjoy this all right so here's a closer look at the dude himself again um i'm pretty sure this is the same chassis as say james or gordon like they all are currently using the same one, but uh, just with different colored wheels and different rods. Now, you could argue that's cheap, and I wouldn't blame you for a second for doing it, but that also means, I mean, those chassis are pretty easy to modify, so I'm probably gonna throw a better motor in this dude pretty quick if I can get one. I mean, again, it does kind of feel like Henry was taken and just kind of squished down a little bit, but 
they still got basically everything right. Like, the, the detail is there. This thing looks pretty damn nice. Now, typically on the back here, there's really nothing. No paint or detail or anything like that. But this time, there is some... Almost in a Capsule Playrail move or esque uh, way of branding, it says right there, 2018 Ghislaine Thomas Limited. And I think that's the first Playrail I've seen that does that. Wow. Or not, uh, I guess has that branding there on the back. I could be wrong. Maybe Gordon or I almost want to double check James now. Let me go. Let me go see if he does. Let's see. Looking at James, there is nothing there on the back. It looks like this is maybe exclusive to Henry, which is kind of interesting because that's normally here on the bottom. I don't know. I just noticed that and figured I would uh, mention it. Oh, there's also no um gray running board here between the splashers. It has just been not painted, which truth be told, you know, I can fix, but I kind of wish I didn't have to. And you didn't have to fix on the old Playrail Henry. Yeah, that's pretty much where I met with this thing. It's definitely not better than the old Playrail Henry, but it's... It's cute, and I don't know if it's trying to be better than the old Playrail Henry. If you put it in its own league and kind of just look at it as its own thing, it's a pretty damn nice Henry model. You know, it is lacking in some areas with detail, but it, it looks nice, and it gets the job done. I feel like that's really all there is to say about Henry, though. He's nice, he's a good-looking engine, but truth be told, I, I wouldn't say he's better than the last, but... He's cool. He's cool. I'll give him that. And now let's take a look at what completes him, the Tinder. Now, I was gonna say I'm pretty sure this Tinder is the exact same as the last Tinder, but um, there's just no paint here on the buffers. And oddly, they look a little kind of molded weird here on mine. Like, definitely not to the highest quality degree, or not what you typically expect from Playrail, but... It could be worse, I guess. From the looks of it, the printing is solid. The 3 uh, looks alright, despite being... I mean, not too bad, but I almost want to say, like, it's a different font. Like, I could be wrong there. I could be totally tripping, but I feel like this is just not the normal 3. I don't know. Either way, the printing is solid on either side. The coal area here seems to mimic the original one that you would pull off and then put the uh, C battery into, but... Obviously, you don't do that with this one. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This thing's pretty damn adorable. It's it, it's weird. It's kind of interesting to see a Playrail Henry with a detached tinder. Like, that's that just feels like something that, that shouldn't be. But you know what? It's here. It's in front of me. And I can't say I hate it. It's, it, it's pretty interesting. You know, I loved it when Trackmaster did it again. Why would Playrail be any different? This is kind of sick. I mean, as long as the motor inside of him is strong and he can pull the tinder and a good bit of rolling stock, I, I don't really mind. So, ladies and gentlemen, there we have Henry. Let's take a look at the rolling stock he came with. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this'll be pretty quick since there's really not a lot to talk about. It's literally just a red plank truck, no face, or extra detail besides here on the side. It says flying kipper and has a fish. And thank God they actually put that on both sides. And you know what? While I do wish it was a van or something more accurate to the Flying Kipper, I, I, I kind of like this. This is, this is kind of cool. So what would I give this thing on an overall rating? Well, let's take price into account. This thing is really not that expensive depending on where you find it. I mean, typically you're paying upwards of $35 to $40, like on eBay, if you're getting them from Japan and they have to be shipped to the United States. And that's what I've had to do originally, but again, and I, I can't recommend Amazon because they did lose him and kind of suck, but $20 for this, that, that's really not that bad. But typically, you'd be paying around $35 to $40, and when you think about that, I, I really wouldn't say that's worth it at all, no. But um, that does, you know, kind of count with shipping and things like that. And truth be told, you are getting a fun pack. Henry himself is pretty solid. He does need some work to be perfect, as you can see, but it's not a bad engine, and it's not the worst thing Playrail's ever done, and he does come with a nice truck, so truth be told, I, I want to say like seven, but that's, I don't know if that's too low, but also I feel like eight's too high, like I, I don't know if he deserves that. We'll, we'll say seven and a half. This is a 7.5 out of 10, and you know what? I think that's as fair as you can be with this thing. It's a solid CGI Henry, but it doesn't compare to the classic Playrail Henry that we all know and love. And I guess with all that being said, the only thing left to do now is get a battery in this dude. 
All right, here's a look at that motor. Yeah, this is pretty much the exact same as um, James. Um, they're just kind of reusing or retooling the same motor for the big engines, but you know what? If it's a good motor, you can't complain. If it's easy for me to switch the motor, it's cool for me. So take for that what you will. And let's go run him because I'm getting fucking excited. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have basically every plank truck that I could find in storage just lined up here. No brake van, that's gonna be quite interesting. Just so, so many troublesome trucks. And you know what? We're gonna see if Henry can pull every single one of them. Probably not. I feel like that's a stupid question, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna try and answer it anyway. Let's go ahead and all right. Is everything on the tracks? Looking good. Looking good. Get out of no. There is no way. That is genuine shock you hear in my voice. Are you kidding? He slipped a little bit. Oh no, we got a wreck. Man, it was so close. It was so Henry. Henry, that was a valiant effort. I'm not gonna lie. It was his fault. I know it was scruff. All right, I switched the cars around just a little bit. Let's see if this does any better. I tried to get the weight towards the front. Come on, Henry. Come on, Henry. Come on. Uh, I think that's a little too much, but I do have an idea. Eh, eh, Harvey, motorized coach. I don't care what it takes. We're getting, we're getting Henry to pull all of this, no matter, no matter what it takes. And I'm gonna add a brake van. Fine. There we go. All right. So we have. This, uh, wow, this doesn't even fit on one side of the layout. All right, let's see here. Start Henry real quick and get that truck going. Is this going to do it? Is this going to do it? Get out of here. No way. It's working. It's working. It's working. <laughs>
Now that's, that, that was something else. That was, that was so cool. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.